of the stream anyways. And now I'm here. Also, I wanted to play this game at some point. Sonic Frontiers comes out next week. And I'm excited for that. As you can tell by my hair color and eye color. <laughs> uh yeah hi everyone uh i hope everyone's having a nice day it was kind of nice out where i was um it's like construction going on near me not like right now but like in the mornings it's kind of annoying but uh yeah i had generally a good day other than work being a lot of stuff that i had to do uh but now i'm done now now it's time for video video games Hey, there it is. That doesn't seem good. I don't think. And I think it's a little quiet. Yeah, maybe that's better. Yeah, I've played like the first level of this, and it seems it seems good. Which is uh, sometimes rare for fan games. <laughs> Yeah, uh, they like turned it into a sequel to Sonic 3, which is cool. Um, that's all good, I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, so for whatever reason, one of the characters in, I think like Europe in Japan, Call him Knack or Fang, and in America is the other name. I forget why. But they do that. Uh, you can just... Fang. Yeah! Oh, right, yeah, so this starts immediately after the end of Sonic 3. <laughs> uh, a lot of Sonic 3 is the Eggman stole Master Emerald and stuff, and then the island fell, and at the end of the game, you put it back, and then the island starts to float again. Uh, and then, this game was, like, originally a Game Gear game that was just, like, the Eggman and also this wolf guy, Fang, and also, Knuckles are chasing after Sonic now. Uh, but I've never really played the Game Gear version either. Mostly because I don't like most of the Game Gear Sonic games. The screen's so tiny and you can't see anything. Ooh! Ominous. Over here? Oh, can I... Can I do... Hit no. Double jump thingy. And dash. What about what about this? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's that the like super peel out thing is not that useful most of the time. Because it doesn't do damage or anything, you just you run fast. You can do that with a spin dash and then jump. There. Oh, wait, how do I get out? I can drop dash. Oh, that's cool. Switch to tails. Or switch to tails. Oh, cool! It's like, um... It's like a... I think it's a Sonic 2 drum hack I've played. It's like Sonic Heroes, where you have Sonic and Tails and Knuckles and you can swap between them by pressing a button. Ooh. I don't have any rings. Is that gonna be a problem? Nope! Woo! I can do that too! <laughs> yeah. Eat it, jerk. <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> no! Dang it. Fine. <laughs> 
It's a cool way to start the game, though. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's Fang, or Knack, depending on which region you're in. It's like a wolf thief, sort of. He's only in, like, I think three games, this being one of them. Uh, hold on, the game is kind of like... Down a little bit... Oh no, I forgot to do... thing. Eh. One sec. Forgot to enable tits. Don't worry, I'm doing it. Yeah, okay. Oh, now it's fine. Okay, cool. Everything's fixed. Oh, okay, that is screen up. Oh, I guess I can use tails to fly also. Come on, just jump better. I wonder if I can fly in this game before I get tired. Uh, oh! Oh, there are springs on top of here. Okay. Um, oh, there's nothing out there. So if you've never played a Sonic game before, uh, generally you want to try to be on the top most path of the level, because it's usually... like... It's usually harder to stay up there, but it's usually like the most direct path to the end. so far, though. Got some good music and stuff. I want to go back over there. Yeah, there we go. I think the shield does me things. Oh, whoops. Oh, no! Got <gasps> dashed right into the spikes. Now it's fine. Everything is fine. If you're wondering why I keep jumping when I get to, like, sort of the top of a loop, it's a thing that I think speedrunners do in, like, Genesis-style Sonic games. And I kind of just started doing it out of habit. <laughs> I think it probably saves, like, tiny, tiny fractions of a second if you do it right. Special stages are. Hey, boss fight. That it? That's all you do? I don't, I don't think you thought this through very well. Oh, okay. He does shoot his cork gun, but I have shields. <laughs> Out of here. Out of here. Mm, okay, so it's not like Sonic 1, at least, where you get the thing at the end of the level. We just have to find big rings in the levels or something. Do I have to hold it? Oh, I have to press it before it spits me out. Okay. You go. Yeah. I bet there's something good right here. It's a shield I already have. That would have been cool if I didn't get hit. Oh, I just noticed that all of the trees with, like, little things on top of them, that means it has a spring. Mm, I'm very smart. He's believe me. I'm just, just smashing A, S, and D to do spin dash really fast. Uh, but S in this game is bound to switch to tails. <laughs> Same as Sonic 3, you have to find like big rings in the levels or something. Where would, would they be? Oh, this one. Now I'm just going towards the middle level. There's no secrets up here. 
Oh! Oh, cool. It's like they knew I would do that. Thank you, game dev. Very kind of you. Oh, is it supposed to just be like time passing or is it because I'm in a cave? Right away! Cool. Oh, okay. Oh, there's one! What are the special stages in this? Oh, you have to race! Oh, that's fun! Anything else? No, I can't switch, I guess. <laughs> the lightning just hits him. Button do anything? No. Okay, so this is you know, pretty straightforward. Over there. Oh! Crap. Still ahead of him by a tiny bit. Oh, now I have to move in. Back seats. I want that. Gimme. This is kinda neat. I think my favorite are probably the Once in Sonic Mania are really fun. Uh, I like the ones in CD too. I wouldn't say the ones in like the Blue Spheres special stages in 3 are like my favorite, but I have definitely done them the most. <laughs> Is that boss or am I just bullying a robot turtle? Oh now it's a boss. Oh! Can you go up there? Oh yeah, you punch your head. Oh, but only when it's open. I'm safe up here anyways. Ooh. Yeah! Level transitions. Wait, this is the same as no. <laughs> oh wow, it doesn't even fade to black. Cool. Like this game. Oh, I guess I can ride in that. If I don't. Ooh, I like this music. I thought I could do it. I really did. Is this gonna... Come back. I didn't mean it. So mean. Alright. Okay. It was a joke. Hey. Sonic CD enemy. How'd you get in here? That's a cool level. something cool over there, though. What if there's, like, a big ring? I want it. I'll have to go through. Ooh. Bonus stage? Bonus stage. It's pinball! Oh, I can only hit each three. Oh, no. I can only hit each three. Many times. Yeah. 
Come on. Oh, jeez. Remember, gambling is bad. Let me... Oh, gambling is, yeah, gambling is bad and also sort of banned on Twitch now, sort of. Only very specific websites. Alright, but it paid off, so like... You know, maybe gambling's fine, actually. <laughs> Oh, I can keep going this way. Another one? How many checkpoints do I need? Ooh, I can bounce off the lights. I don't know why I keep thinking this fast. I think if I jump while I'm like... No, not good. Like that. Is maybe a tiny bit faster. I'm just running up the wall on me. What's this? Hello? You open something. This one's always, like, my favorite one to have. The tracks rings to you and you can double jump. The bubble one is also fun because you can bounce and go really high and you can, like, bounce a long distance. Yeah, whenever I see a little helix thingy like that and the game is trying to make me go to the bottom one, I just always instinctively want to go to the one on top. Oh! That worked out. Where's... Oh, pictures of Spider-Man. Pictures of Spider-Man, I mean big rings. Not bad. Oh, another way. Nice. Oh! Okay. That went open. Um, but where are the big rings? Bulls. Why are you even here? Because Eggman has lied to him. He believed him for some reason, but like, again? Like, immediately after he realized he lied to him? So many more chaos emeralds, though. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh, whatever this is. Oh yeah, now I start this level with hearing. No. supposed to work, I think. Maybe you have to jump in while it's still moving. Yeah, 
Yeah, just like no matter what Sonic game it is, if I see something like that, I just want to go to the. Oh, <gasps> I can go the other way. I just think it's from me, video game. Yeah. Uh oh. It's the wrong time to switch characters. <laughs> Wait, yeah, so what? Oh, I can drop dash into it. And oh, and then it just. noises of my cat doing crap in one second. Crisis averted. No crimes were happening. Oh, wait. There's the now. The world. Yeah, it comes out next Tuesday. Am I Sanic? Uh. Playing as him. Yeah, hi. Then move in. Good kind of. What's up? Playing this 16 uh, bit remake of Sonic Triple Trouble. This is a Game Gear game. This came out like this year? Like a few months ago, I think? Seems good. It's got like cutscenes and everything. Yeah, Frontiers looks really cool. Uh, like when they first showed it off, it looked pretty bad. Um, and then every time after that that they showed it off, it looked good. So I don't know why I don't know why they gave IGN like a weird unfinished build, and then I don't know. It just seems really weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, here, play this bad version of our video game and show it off. Because, uh, yeah, everything since then looks really good. Oh, I'm really excited to play it. Um, probably play this on Monday, I think. Or I could just make my stream on Monday like a midnight stream and just play Sonic Frontiers at midnight. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'll be... Uh... Oh, I just went in a circle. Uh... Oh, it was just for prizes. I get it now. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll probably end up just taking like a short break from Devil May Cry. <laughs> Devil May Cry 5. Not because I don't like the game. I do really like the game. But... Uh, Sonic Frontiers is coming out, and then, like, ten days after that, Pokemon comes out. <laughs> so... I am gonna finish Devil May Cry 5. But probably not this month. <laughs> I have so many rings. This game is full of rings. Yeah, too many games coming in a row. Yeah, it's November. 
<laughs> I feel like it happens every year. No! Uh, Persona 5 Royale also just came out on Steam. I've never played. I played the normal version of it when it came out, sort of. And then... Uh, I do want to play Royale. Or Royal. But... Uh, and also Bayonetta 3. It also just came out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I have to like figure out which ones I actually want to do on stream and stuff. Yeah, I've heard good things about... Uh, wait, what the fuck? Hello? Oh, it's one of these bosses. Is this even a boss fight? Wait, no, this is another level, isn't it? Hello? What games, what games are you guys excited for? There's like a billion and a half video games coming out now. Hello, well, person that made this game. I think you've confused this level for a fortress level from Mario. Where are the cannons? Yeah, I want to play Bayonetta 3, probably on stream, at some point. What?! Um... Yeah, but... Yeah, I still want to beat Devil May Cry 5. And I have, like, I have No More Heroes 3, I've just... I haven't even started playing it. Maybe I'll do those and then get Bayonetta. Oh yeah, it doesn't, like, I think God of War Ragnarok comes out soon also. I never played the first one. That one's on Steam now. Too many video games. I'm gonna play, like, seven. I should probably finish Yakuza 0, because I never did that either. <laughs> never streamed that, though. Get out of here. Oh. Fails his kill. Assassinated. Whoa! I can't throw those forwards. Oh! This is a level. I don't even know if this is in the, like, original game, but this is, like, a neat thing. Yeah, concept for a level, like, on a train trying to catch up to someone and then they blow up the train. <laughs> cool. Yeah, like, most of the sprites in this game are from, um, Sonic 3, but they have, like, the amount of custom ones also, it's like, that, like, landing pose Sonic did. It's this. Oh, it shoots spike bullets. They don't let you bounce on top of it. It's so rude. I have to use Tails as a shield. Oh, I did it? Neat! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thought it was a cutscene. Got a bird. Oh yeah, Act 3. I think the first Great Turquoise only had one. What a jungler. Uh... Ooh. Ooh, I wanna bounce off these. That was not as exciting as that one. Unless. Big rings. Got a 
funny, but it looks like Metal Sonic. There's nothing. Except for one of these. Fast, I am playing this game to get Chaos Emeralds. <gasps> I did it! are for. Like in Sonic 2's special stages, you needed rings to like pass checkpoints, like you needed to have enough rings. It doesn't seem like you need those in this though. I don't know, maybe they just make you go faster. <gasps> oh! It was a mistake. There's also the lightning things that like directly make them go slower. Look at his face in the corner. <laughs> Yay, I got two. Five left. Where's the other five? in this level look different, like made of wood. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're like made of wood with like lines on them, kind of. Yeah, there's different like speed booster things too. Unless there is. Never lose hope. There's nothing over here. There, there's nothing over here. <laughs> this time video game. It's like that other bonus stage from Sonic 3. So there's like a laser beam that slowly goes up. And if it touches you, you have to leave. Um, I'll take the fire shield. Fire seems like a shield I would want. Because uh, I feel like the boss is going to shoot fire. So then you can do this. Oh, it's not. Yeah, I was trying to think if I've actually fought like an Eggman robot so far, but yeah. The third... No, the, yeah, the 
One of the bugs. <laughs> big, the big robot. Yeah. What? Neck twice? Knuckles once. <laughs> I am getting the oil. Good. I had. I was busy with stuff at work uh, before this, but now it's done. Now playing this video game, just having a good time. <laughs> How are you doing? Infinite Sonic Three Two. Tired from work. Yeah. That's why I wanted to do this instead of Devil May Cry. <laughs> and also that uh, Frontiers comes out next week. I don't know why I keep thinking there's gonna be stuff up there. There's not. Well, hopefully this nice, chill Sonic stream will help you relax. Is this- this is the same thing that Knuckles did. The same exact thing, except he threw a bomb instead of pressing a switch. <laughs> Come on. Tails could have flown up there, done something that wasn't just staring at- Oh, I guess you can go down pretty far before it hurts you. Thought it would hurt you way sooner. Oh, let me know if the game is, like, way too loud. I feel like I have that problem or not. I think there's an OBS, like, thing you can do where it'll, like, put in the game button to... He just stood there! Watched an act press that switch. I mean, Sonic didn't do anything either, but they're both to blame. I would like to go that way. A little loud, I think there's a tired a lot of times to talk about. Oh! Well. Oh, there's no option. I'll just do this. I think it's also my microphone, because I don't have a, a arm for it yet, so it's like just on my desk. <laughs> something. New model. Yeah! Wow. Yeah, I did Amogus using this on Sunday. Uh, and then, yeah, whenever I have like overlays and stuff like a full actual like debut like model review but not like reveal but <laughs> model overview I guess uh... oh that's okay <laughs> yeah it's like pretty much done yeah. rigging rigging stuff done, mostly. I think there's like one or two things that are like small that I want to fix. But, uh, I think they're both like related to like the uh, body rigging, so like the face stuff is all like... And there's like the fancier mouth stuff also that I want to do, but like I don't have to do it now. Just because I have other things that I do that aren't me. This sound effect is so satisfying. Big fan of the wah. I did it. Wait, your mind's in the gutter? What did I say? What did I say? <laughs> oh, there were springs. No! Oh no, I'm gonna lose. Oh, I should have gotten the other one. Okay. Out of here. Oh, maybe rings are just so if you do hit spikes, you don't die. Maybe. 
but there's other things you have to do. Immediately. Oh. Oh, no, I said other things I have to rig. <laughs> Eat it, Knack. No! Oh! Oh! What? Wait, did he... Try again, one life. Yes! Oh, that's such a nice feature. <laughs> I have so many lives. Yeah! Now he's fucked. Oh, yeah, okay, the rings are a timer, so I do have to keep getting rings, otherwise I uh, die. No! Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay. Okay. No! Ah! <laughs> okay, at least I have, like, eight lives or something. Yeah, I can just, I guess I can just get rings there. I, mean, I don't need to keep hitting him. But <laughs> oh, you played Sonic games. I do! This is the first time I played this one, though. Who upset the perfect dude? Yeah! Uh, his name is... Uh... Fang or Knack? It's one of those things where, like, in the 90s, when video games were brought over to different regions, they would just change character names for no reason. Like how, uh, they changed Eggman to Robotnik. And, like, Princess Peach was Princess Toadstool. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna be so upset. Where's the lightning? Where's the lightning? Give me lightning. Please. No, there it is. Shit. Uh, but yeah, so that wolf guy's name is Knack or Fang, depending on which region <laughs> uh, the game was released in. And unlike, uh, like you know, Peach and Big Man and stuff, how they just kind of eventually decided just to pick up a name for all the regions, uh, Knack isn't really in a lot of Sonic games, so. Like, hasn't really been in anything, like, since the 90s. So, he never, like, officially has an actual name. <laughs> he just has two. Ackerfang. Yeah. I think the most confusing thing is that they changed, like, his, like, title, also. His Sonic characters that aren't Eggman are always, like, name the animal or whatever. Um, but he was, I think in Japan and Europe, he was Fang the Sniper, which is not an animal. Um, and in, oh, I can go this way. And then in the US, they were like, Fang the Sniper, no, 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 he's clearly Knack the Weasel. He's not a weasel. He's like a, uh, Someone, like, asked, like, the character designer what the heck he's supposed to be. And they were like, he's supposed to be part weasel, part Jerboa. Which is... Jerboas are cute. Uh, but I had never heard of them ever before that. They're like... Uh... They live in deserts, and they're kind of like a... A mouse with, like, sort of a springy-looking tail and, like, sort of long legs, and they kind of hop around, I think. They're cute. But also, I don't know why he's both. on my lives doing these. Oh, I didn't realize these also count, like, the rings you have when you go in, I think. I had 24 to start with, unless that's just this level you start with. These are getting hard.
Okay. I jumped too early. Oh, no, I didn't. Perfect. Okay, yeah, he's, he's plenty far back. I don't need to be too much. That lightning. Now I do know. He's, he's speeding up, I think. Yeah. That. Okay, I feel okay about how this is going now. Cool. Nice, I did it! <laughs> Knocker fan. <laughs> cool, I'm at three left. Ugh. I wonder if I can get them all in, like, a single pick. That would be cool. Mind confirmed in. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, hiss. What? Is that supposed to be there? I bet there's stuff over here. Where are the Chaos Emeralds D12s in this game? Um, in the old games, they're, like, in the, like, special stage things, they're always viewed from, like, top, I guess. Which is, so that's why they look like that. This is how they looked in, like, the old Genesis games. Boss has a funny face. Is like a Sonic encyclopedia. I've played a number of Sonic games. I haven't played all of them, I don't think. Definitely haven't beaten every Sonic game. Okay, that hurt me before anything was there. I feel, I feel lied to. Um. Uh, Nemu, did you know that there are there are two games starring Tails? On the the Game Gear, the like Sega's Game Boy thing. I don't think. I mean, okay. I think I've probably at least played a little bit of pretty much every Sonic game, um, but I know that I have not beaten all of them because I don't like most of the Game Gear and Master System ones because they're not very good. <laughs> Tails is the best baby. <laughs> but yeah, there's uh Tails Sky Patrol, which is like a like you're like it's like a flying even Sonic Boom. Oh, I haven't played Sonic Boom. Also higher in this. Uh Yeah, Sonic Boom like Okay, so like I've played Sonic 06, and that's because uh like, I knew that it was bad, but I thought it would be funny to play with friends. And it was. Uh, but Sonic Boom doesn't even look that. It just looks bad. <laughs> um, and then there's, like, Sonic Boom on the 3DS also that is, like, a completely different game. Um, and they made a sequel only on 3DS also that I didn't play. Uh, so I guess those I didn't play. Uh, I played Forces was disappointing. <laughs> Making your own character and having them immediately be best friends with Sonic was really funny. Uh, but that game isn't very good. Uh, like, all of the levels feel like they're half done. Like, it feels like you're about, about like, the halfway point of a level and then it ends. They just end very abruptly and it's weird. No, it's hard to explain. Like, it feels like nothing has happened yet, I guess. Copying Chaos Emeralds? Oh, that's because he made a fake one in Adventure, too. Bye. 
Sonic being friends with literally anyone he meets immediately does seem accurate, though. Yes. The best part, though, is that it's not just that you're friends with Sonic, it's that you're friends with Sonic and in the levels where you play as your character, there's sections where, like, you, uh, fist bump Sonic and then the song Fist Bump, sung by the singer from the Biscuit, starts playing and you do, like, a double boost thing. <laughs> it's great. It would be like if in, like, Dragon Ball Xenoverse you make your own character and then also, like, can just constantly do, like, team attacks with Goku. And Goku is like, you're my best friend! <laughs> it also... From like this like stuff that they showed off in trailers, definitely feels like they made. I mean, it's because this is just Sega's bad at this whole game development thing. But like they put out a trailer that showed like a bunch of old villains coming back, uh, which was you know neat. It showed like chaos and shadow and Metal Sonic and stuff all standing in a row. Um, looking menacing. And then in the actual game, uh, Metal Sonic is a boss fight that is a copy of a previous boss fight in the game and doesn't really have anything to do with Metal Sonic. Um, the Shadow clone? or Yeah, al also they're all just like hologram clones. It's not the actual characters. Um, the Shadow one gets taken out by actual Shadow in a cutscene, and so does the Chaos one. Uh, and the guy from Sonic Lost World uh, is the first boss, and he doesn't really do anything, he's just kind of riding on a robot, and the robot is fighting you. Um, so yeah, I feel like that game was rushed a lot. <laughs> that music sped up now. Man loves random colors and spikes. It's true, because if, you know, like, if you're building something and assuming that at some point a fast blue animal is going to run through it and destroy all your shit, you're going to want to put landmines everywhere. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Dig up. Robotnik winter. <laughs> Did Eggman cause a nuclear winter? Is that what this level is? Do I go down here? Cool. Oh no, this level has ice physics. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it does! I'm like the day after Halloween. <laughs> yeah, where's the spooky level then? Where's the Halloween level? Where's Pumpkin Hill? If I, like, if I, for whatever reason, ever had the, uh, like, wanted to make a Sonic game, I would make one level, like, Pumpkin Hill, extremely Halloween-themed, and then the next one after would be an ice level, and I would make the music, like, a chiptune version of All You I Want for Christmas Is You. <laughs> <laughs> this is an actual song, Nemu. It's just, um. It's like the intro part to Jingle Bells, I think. Just with different lyrics because it was. Thing in a fate anime. You know. It's because it's just the, like, dashing through this now. But it's just like, Hashira Sori. It's like, it's the same. It's the same song. <laughs>
Yeah, the jingle bells, right? It's not. <laughs> the same song. Like how, um... What is it? I'm just gonna go up here. Oh, I have to go up here. Gotta be a snowball. Hello! Ooh, an updraft. What? Wait. Oh. It's huh. weird. If you try to... Yeah, the tail's sticking out of the snowball. Yeah, if you like try to like double jump with the fire shield against a wall, it plays the animation for you doing it the other way. Enjoy your free QA game dev if you watch this. <gasps> Whoa, this thing has sunglasses. That's the coolest Orvanade I've ever seen. I promise I don't know the names of that many other Sonic enemies. Just know those ones, because they, they're, they're orbs. There's like the B ones? I don't know what those are called. Don't ask me what they're called. I forgot. I forgot that I do know the name. It's Buzz Bomber. I'm sorry. I've let you all down. <laughs> Man, I want big rings, not a set of three ring monitors. a sonic enemy. Um, oh, I want to leave the lightning shield. Yeah, there we go. 130 rings. Oh, I really need to find a big ring. Oh. Sorry about your statue, Eggman. Knuckles! You win. I like the boss music for New Fate Knuckles. Ah, I forgot! You can't. Sonic 3, when the, the one fight you have with Knuckles in Sonic 3, you can do that. You can like, hit him out of midair. What? What? <laughs> That's illegal! You can't go into the background. Cheating. I can't go in the background. What do you think this is? Guardian Heroes. I almost want to play that game on stream just because the main character of uh, Isekai Oji-san keeps talking about it. Although I don't even know how many people actually watch that anime, especially because it got so many delays. Uh, you go in the background, it seems like a you problem. <laughs> can't move in the Z-axis. Oh god, I've killed him! Uncles, I'm sorry. I'll find someone else to take care of the emerald. Skill issue. <laughs> hey! Hey! Sore loser. Is that a monitor for a- <gasps> Heck yeah! This fan game rules! I doubt this was in the actual Game Gear version. Ooh. Look at all the graphics. It's like I'm on a big cylinder. Whoa! Crisis averted. I have rings. Take that echidna to a hospital. He doesn't want to go! He just wants to cause an avalanche and then be in it. So, mission accomplished, Knuckles, I guess. Oh yeah, speaking of Knuckles, they put out, like, a, like, entirely animated, like, sort of prequel thing of, 
like what happens to Knuckles before Sonic Frontiers. Um, it's on YouTube. It was cool too, it was like voice acting and stuff. Just a normal thing to build. Fire jet towers get my forest nice and toasty. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you gotta melt the snow and... Is this just a snowboard level? Hell yeah. Cool. Are there any big rings here though? Yeah, so far it seems like they're... I mean, unless, unless the game you're... Like, the original version of this game had weird levels like this. Maybe. Some of them did. Um, yeah, it seems like they're just, like, adding, like, a third act. As sort of, like, a fun level gimmick thing. In case you ever really needed to know what determines which bonus stage you get, it's how many rings you have. It's like... I don't know exactly what it is in this one, but in 3, which is what I'm assuming this one phasing it off of, it's like, if you have multiple of 20 rings, you go to this one. If you have a multiple of like... Yeah, it's like every 20, 40, or 60 rings, it just counts. Act for nerds! Any nerds in chat? How can you imagine? Just ice? Any non nerds in chat? God, I hope not. Couldn't deal with the pressure. Oh no, it just gives you 24. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many. I guess that would make these really easy if you could just come in with like 300 rings. <laughs> like I'm learning a lot about this Sonic. <laughs> I know so much. <laughs> oh, I thought I could get both. My hubris. Goodbye. How many lives do I have? 16! Alright! We're safe. Oh, but yeah, so the... Yeah, the thing with Knuckles in it that they put out uh, has a bunch of references to other Sonic games, which is nice, because I feel like a lot of the time they just kind of try to pretend that only the most recent game is the one that exists. Ever. Like, Sonic Adventure references stuff that happens in 3. And, like, 2 references stuff that... Or, yeah, Adventure 2 ha references stuff that happens in Adventure 1. Uh, 3 also, like, starts with... Uh, sort of the end of 2. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's nice when they try to make it feel more like an actual world that exists instead of just, like, the thing Mario games do. Uh, that. <laughs> Tracking stuff. Fixed it. Which is fine, just that, you know, every Mario game is just like, it's the Mushroom Kingdom, Bowser can have Peach. And, like, Mario games are good. But I just like that Sonic games are usually more anime. <laughs> and have, like, sort of, like, it, it, yeah, it just feels more like a world that exists rather than just, like, a completely different place where Mario and Bowser exist every time. I guess Sunshine kind of references 64, I think? Maybe, no, maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it's I like when games do stuff like that. Even when it's not like an actual sequel, it's just like <laughs> more anime. I mean, Sonic Adventure 2's plot is incredibly anime. <laughs> oh. I 
Tails help. I hope. How many emeralds do I have? Didn't count. I have either six or five. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to go this way. Unless... Uh, but yeah, Sonic, Sonic Frontiers, uh, what is, I think, written by one of the recent, like, writers of the comics? And the comics are really good, also. Like, the more recent ones. Uh, by, what's his name? Ian Flynn. Yeah, because I feel like Sonic games are just kind of boring when they just try to copy Mario stuff. Like, uh, Lost World was incredibly blatantly them just being like, Whoa, Mario Galaxy looks cool, and it's got weird little planet thingies that have their own gravity. Let's make a Sonic game that has exactly that. Uh, and it wasn't very good. There were like a couple fun levels. Um, all the villains were sort of boring. They invented a bunch of new villains because they were like, everyone loves the Koopalings so much. Everyone loves that there are seven characters in Mario Kart that are basically the same. Um, and so they invented just like these weird monster guys that are in that game and one of them shows up in Forces. kind of color-coded and have, like, one personality trait. <laughs> There's a green one who the personality trait is girl. There's the red one who's the leader. There's uh, a purple one and his personality trait is that he is zany. Uh, there's a blue one who is sad. <laughs> And there's, uh, I forget what color he is, but there's like a tiny old one, and that's his personality trait, is he is the old one. <laughs> it's like old kung fu master. So much for continuity. Yeah, that's why I like when it has continuity. The games have it. Am I, do I have to bounce these back? What am I doing? Oh, I just... Going fast. Wrong! It's my... Exactly! <laughs> It'll be, I hope, yeah, Frontiers looks really good, and I hope it is, um, because if it is, it will be the first time in about a decade that a 3D Sonic game has been good. Uh, Generations came out in 2011. What am I Generations came out in 2011, that one's really good, and then they did Lost World, which was kind of whatever, and then Forces, which was incredibly disappointing. Like, not like... Not like bad, like Sonic 06 bad. Where, like, the game doesn't even work sometimes. Like, the game functions fine, it's just... <sighs> the levels are... boring. The plot doesn't make any sense, and also you can tell that they cut things out for time. Uh, there is a section where your custom character gets sent to, like, a void space, and you're trapped there, and it's like, oh no! Um, and then you immediately break out. Like, you don't... there's nothing... Nothing happens in there. It just shoves you into this, like, black hole void, and then you leave. That's it. <laughs> uh... And then, yeah, like, once it came out on PC, I think people found, like, unfinished geometry for, like, a level that would have taken place in there. Okay. 
Uh, not that any of you really had to guess, but I have, um, you know, played an underwater level in a Sonic game and tried to actually hold my breath un until I get a bubble. <laughs> I feel like you could have guessed that about me. Um, it's not hard. Sonic can't hold his breath very well. <laughs> I think it's like 16 seconds or something. Okay, you jump kind of high off these. Look how rusty that sounds, though. Oh, I just come out here. Tiny oh. dinosaur robot. Big fist angrily. Yeah! Okay, this is either the last one or the sixth one. I think it's the sixth one. Walls! What is this, Beat Saber? I do kind of want to play Beat Saber, like, VR rhythm games on stream at some point. Um, I know you can, if you have, like, a Vive and a bunch of Vive trackers and stuff, you can do, um, like, you can have, like, your 3D model being tracked. You know, like you have the headset on and stuff. Uh, and do a night where you play Sonic game and have ask me anything about Sonic. If I don't know the answer, I drink. Oh no, <laughs> there are things I don't know though. Like if Sonic, like okay, I was gonna say if Sonic Turbo nerds show up. Although you, I'm certain that someone in chat will immediately be like, "Who isn't that you?" No, there are people that know more about <laughs> these than me. Uh, For instance, most things about the comics. I don't know. Um, okay, actually, to prove myself wrong. Uh, so there's... There's like two... I don't think there's ever been like an official... Like long-running like Sonic manga or anything. Um, but so there's like a UK Sonic comic that is not running anymore. Um, the only one going on now is the one published by IDW Comics. Uh, but yeah, there used to be like a UK Sonic comic, and uh, that one had like, I know it has like a bunch of like kind of weird, interesting changes to character stuff. Because I think it started like uh, when, like, the only games were, like, Sonic 1, 2, and maybe CD, and maybe 3. So it's not like there was a lot of existing stuff for them to go off of, like, plot-wise. <laughs> Thanks. Um... Uh... Oh! Also, because the only promotional artwork that one of the, like, character designers saw for Amy before Sonic CD came out was one where Sonic is, like, running and holding Amy, her quills are kind of like pointed up. Um, the, the person just thought that's how she looks all the time. Like, okay, I have six. Uh, so in the UK comics, see you at the Atomic Destroyer. Oh, cause he has the last one. Ah, okay, so you can't just get all the emeralds really. Wait, why can I go down? Can I down here? Did they just forget to put a floor? Maybe. <laughs> um. So, yeah, so Amy looks a little weird, but apparently has, like, like, is, like, an actual character beyond she likes Sonic. Because uh, I feel like that's a thing that happens a lot with her, is that her only character trait is, I like Sonic and want to be near him, and he doesn't want to be near me. Dang. Uh, yeah, there's that, and then also they, they made... They turned Super Sonic almost into, like, a Berserker thing, where he just, like, is really angry and, like, destroys everything. Uh, and is, like, an asshole when he's Super Sonic. Uh... Yeah, I mean, there's... Yeah, I know there's, like, other weird stuff in that comic, too. Not that the US RC comic 
is not weird also. Um, yeah, yeah there's, there's like good things in both I've heard. Um, yeah, Sonic comics, the Archie ones were really bad for a while because the head writer did not know anything about Sonic games and did not want to know anything about Sonic games. He just wanted to use the comic as like a way to tell his own terrible story using anthropomorphic animal characters. Um, usually involving uh, Knuckles. Um, because for whatever reason, he just really, really, really wants to tell this terrible story about, like, some lost civilization. And after Sonic Adventure, Knuckles belongs to, is like the last race of an ancient civilization, unless you're in the comics, and there's like a billion echidnas that all just look like Knuckles. Except sometimes they have a hat, or a robot arm, or are pink and have boobs. Um, I wish I was making some of this up. This is all true. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, oh yeah, they also did a, um, really cool, to me specifically, because I also really like Mega Man games, um, and for a short period of time, Archie was also publishing a Mega Man comic series that was also really good. Uh, where, where am I going? Where am I supposed to go now? I'm lost. This, yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, they did a crossover the Mega Man comics, which was cool. Um, there's also some really good, uh, like, the covers on some of them are really good because Eggman and Dr. Wily become friends almost immediately, as you could imagine. And so there is one of the, one of the covers, one of the issues is, am I gonna die? What? Oh, I just died, okay. I'm so confused. Oh, that's cool. You can, like, skip across the water. Oh, wait. Also, Nemu, watch. Uh, so you know how... I mean, you probably seen it before. Anyways, the swimming animation for Tails is really cute. And if you're underwater, he swims instead of flying. <laughs> and swim! <laughs> Uh, he can't pick up Sonic while swimming, though. What? I switched to Sonic and it killed me. Oh, I think because I, like, went up for air as Tails, but didn't go up for air as Sonic. And then, and usually, like, if you're not controlling the, you know, the other character, it doesn't matter if they run out of breath, because they'll just, like, reset. Uh, but I think I may have just switched to Sonic, like, the second before he was about to drown or something. Uh... Well... <laughs> what are they talking about? Comic stuff? So much weird shit in the comics. Um... But yeah, there's, like, that Mega Man crossover, and then they did a second one that I haven't read. Um... But it had, like, more just Capcom stuff, I think. It was, like, like Ryu shows up from Street Fighter. <laughs> and, uh, Mega Man X. Yeah, the first one was really cool. Um, and then also, at the end of it, uh, there's, like, a big weird energy explosion thing that they basically use to, like, reboot the continuity of the comics. <laughs> because... Uh, that one weird writer that kept trying to write stuff about his OCs that all look like Knuckles. Um, Archie, like, when they originally hired him in, like, the 90s, they, like, didn't keep track of, like, all of the contracts and stuff, I guess. So then because they didn't have anything that said, like, hey, you don't own any of these characters or anything, you could argue somehow in court that he did, and Sega just, like, didn't care, <laughs> I guess. Um, because, like, that would be an easy thing, like, he would have lost if he actually tried to do that. Uh, or whatever. But, yeah, the, so, yeah, they just, he didn't work there anymore, and they wanted to reboot comics so that they actually, like, use 
characters and stuff from it. Uh, yeah. And they rebooted the comics, and then they were really good for a little bit. And then uh, Archie stopped doing Sonic comics, and now it's IDW. But still, I think, same, like, head writer. Like, it was Ian Flynn before, and it's still him. He's good at writing Sonic stuff. Uh, yeah. I'm not caught up all the way on those, but... But I read there was this one whole like basically zombie invasion or not invasion but like uh, Eggman comes up with like a weird like uh, I feel like this is a thing that happens a lot in the comics of like the characters getting turned into robots um, he comes up with a like organic virus that basically turns you into like a metal zombie uh and it spreads by just, like, touching. Uh, and, yeah, so then for a while it's just basically like a zombie movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember getting to the end of that and it being pretty cool. Though I think that was when it was recent, which was, like, a year ago. I'm gonna go up here. There's nothing there. I've wasted all of your time, I'm sorry. Uh, so I guess what I'm saying is, yeah, Nemu, maybe I'll do that <laughs> Sonic idea when I start playing Sonic in Tears or something. <laughs> or maybe I'll just do it on Monday. I can keep playing this game on Monday or play a different Sonic game on Monday or something. Because uh, it comes out on Tuesday. I don't know if I want to... I could just stay up till midnight and try to stream then. Maybe that'll be too hard. Okay, wait. Going down there kills me. I don't want to spin dash down there. Okay. okay. Nice! I made it back to where I was before I died, like, 15 minutes ago, maybe. I hope you're all proud of me. Why is, why is Tails upside down? Tails? Tails? Tails, come back! Tails is just always upside down? In a bubble, I guess? It is really handy that you can switch between the two, because I feel like it's almost always easier to be Tails underwater than swim. There's a checkpoint, so I think I'm doing something good. Whoa! <laughs> right. Bubble shield, where are you? Oh, I can't get shields in there. Dang it! Alright, I'll just leave. I don't need rings. Bonk. Hey, boss fight. It's Knack! Or Fang, whichever you or he prefers. Bonk. Do I have to beat him into the dirt again? <laughs> so mean! <laughs> I love it. I don't know if that actually does anything different if you go faster. Well, maybe it does. That's the first time I did it. Heal out, and it gave me Sonic, which gives me points. It's not very exciting, though. Um, okay, maybe I will do this level. Stop. I don't know if this saves in between acts. Ooh, submarine. 
Oh, and Tails is the pilot. I can shoot missiles. Oh, maybe this was from the other in the other game. And we look. Piloting a submarine is Tails. He just sits there in shock, like, my god, he's doing this again. <laughs> is this really my thing? To be pummeled into the dirt every time he tries to steal Chaos Emeralds. I feel like if I played the original game, these gimmick levels are probably not nearly as good, but in this, they're I like them, they're fun. Puzzle solved. Ooh. Uh-oh. These would be nice. No! Now I'm in the ocean. I feel like the random live wires underwater aren't great. For who? Actually, yeah, if you... Because, like, it wouldn't go everywhere. Right? Like, if, if there was, like, a live wire in the ocean, it wouldn't just kill everything in the ocean. The fishies, at least. Yeah, I guess. I don't... Uh, so far, there's only robot fish in here, though. It's a stocked ocean. Oh, I can spin dash. Go kill stuff nearby, at least. Yeah. I wonder how, like, how far electricity goes in water before it dissipates. Because if video games have taught me anything, it's the entire body of water. But that's obviously wrong. <laughs> One unit of water, yes. This is starting to remind me of a Ristar level. That is a Sega Genesis game where you play as a shooting star with stretchy arms, and it's made by Sonic Team. That's not why I know about it. Well, it might be tangentially related to why I know about it. Uh, I know about it because uh, my cousin had it growing up. But maybe he had it because it was made by Sonic Team, I don't know. It's fun. It's like a... Mm -hmm. Mascot platformer. Uh, and you attack things by grabbing them with your stretchy arms and smashing your face into them. He's too strong! At the drill? Oh. Hello? Hi? It's Knackles! My rings are just health in here. I can just, I can just tank these. What? What? That wasn't Knuckles. Or <laughs> Knuckles has been Metal Sonic this whole time. Who knew? Three. Wait, I thought I was done. Oh, okay, this just what? Bye. Oh, it's another rocket shoes level. These I know for sure were in the original game. Hello? Ooh, it's playing uh, sort of speedway. Usually used as like Metal Sonic's theme song. Uh, that's the music, or that's the level you fight him in in Sonic CD. Die. 
Come again. I can! The space! It's a good thing that being in space doesn't kill them. Because they do this a lot. <laughs> I think it happens in 2, in 3, in this fan game. Uh, it definitely happens in Adventure 2. <laughs> okay, uh, this is probably the last level of the game. But I should probably stop for now. I will finish this game and get all the Chaos Emeralds and maybe play some other Sonic game or something. Or maybe just, like, finish it and then play Frontiers. This is fun. Yeah, this was fun. Dispensing all of my useless Sonic the Hedgehog lore knowledge. Just play Sonic forever. Yeah. <laughs> There's enough. Gotta hook up my PS3 so I can play Sonic 06. Actually, wait, no. Someone, for some reason, ported Sonic 06 to Unity. And, like, removed all of the fun bugs. I mean, all of the normal bugs, too, but they removed all of the bugs, and they ported the game to Unity. <laughs> uh, I know they're done with all of Sonic's levels and stuff. I don't know if, like, the whole game that... Actually, maybe I lied about that part. But yeah, someone is doing that. <laughs> it's left if you take out the bugs. I, like a game... Uh, <laughs> with stuff in it. Um, okay, yeah, let me quit. I am. Let me just double check that it saved. I'm sure it did. Yeah! Okay. okay. Cool. Well, that'll be it for today. I about the shorter stream a little bit. Uh, I was really busy. I didn't want to start right at 5, because I was, like, done and, like, trying to push code up at, like, 4.45. <laughs> um, yeah, this was really fun. I should play more Sonic games, I guess. Uh, and I will. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for coming. We were doing a code review the whole time. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, right, I forgot I turned that on. Uh, if you guys type uh, emotes in chat, they'll fall onto my head. Like, it won't, like, it's a new, like, VTube Studio feature. If you type, you, know, you can type more than one also. I think you can do, like, up to three or, like, five at once. And it'll, like, bounce off me. <laughs> yeah, I think any emotes should work. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> I can put a limit on how many, but I think it's three. I can make it more. <laughs> they bounce around so much. Yeah, it's easy to, sh to set up. I can show you how to do it. Uh, but <laughs> 200 IQ. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, it's like a beta YouTube studio feature. Um, yeah, anyways, this was really fun. Uh, my next stream is uh, Friday at 5 p.m. And I'm going to finish Monster Bash. I'm going to finish it. I just have to do all of part three. But I did all of part two in one stream. So, like, easy, you know? Whatever. It's still technically Halloween for like a week, right? Uh, yeah. And yeah, follow me on Twitter and I post schedules and stuff. And then also post updates schedules when I change my mind about things <laughs> midweek. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for coming, hanging out and chat and asking or not even asking questions about Sonic things, but listening me to me say things about Sonic things. Uh, yeah. And then let's, let's, let's do a nice raid thing. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Oomst. Oomst to raid. Let's see. Let's do. Ooh, okay. Will be good. I feel lied to. Whatever, we'll raid this person. <laughs> it says they're playing Trombone Champ, they're playing Minecraft. Um, yeah.
Yeah, let's read Electronix. Playing it says trombone champs. He's playing Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, thanks everyone so much for coming. And I'll see everyone on Friday if you show up. Otherwise, I won't see you. Uh, yeah, thanks everyone for coming. Bye. Bye.